Now, the rest of the story. Taking all my profit. Those couple kernels that are stuck in your shoes, that, that was my profit margin, honey. Yeah. just started on my corn yesterday and we're not really all that far to get excited about yields just yet. Uh, moisture has been less than last year which was the running theme for everyone I've talked to this fall anyway. You turn that back down guys. Turn it down. Thanks. I'm just glad we're dealing with dry er corn and it's not 10% wetter like it was last year. The wettest we've seen so far is about 21%. That's only for a small part of the field. Since we got everything from my parents uh, taken care of, we got to get a little bit of fodder made for my brother. Got my nephew and my daughter riding with me. And probably the quietest you guys have been all day. But they've both been having fun. As say, we're actually about a week week and a half ahead of schedule. Uh, normally, I wasn't planning on harvesting any of mine until the first November anyway. But with the, we at least got somewhere to, to go with it. They want it, so I'd rather get shipping. Now, we don't have a lot of chiseling to do, but once we get done bailing the last of my brother's uh, fodder bedding for the fall for the winter. I want to clean that 569 up. That 82 is going to end up on the chisel plow, and we'll start getting that running over some ground because we got a lot of manure to haul yet. Having me considered dealing with that, but between the cows are all back in the all of my cows are back home outside of three of them. And they're just starting to really ramp up on uh, going through hay. Because I haven't had them home for five days now. But better quality feed is definitely going a lot farther. It's doing a lot better for them. Um, I'm actually waiting on a calf. I got my one cow that was actually checked bred for this fall. Uh, she's showing signs like she's getting close to calving, so I'm kind of keeping an eye on that. Uh, everything goes smooth. I mean, I really shouldn't dare even say that, but a little over a week, week and a half of, of running corn out, I think we'll be fine. We'll, we'll be pretty well done. Uh, we got to fill a bin and a half, smaller bins at least, but. More or less, we just got to get Ryan and I's feed uh, figured out for this fall yet. Um, I'm planning on keeping a bunch back so I have something to creep feed my calves with next year. I don't know if I want to make it to the end, guys. It always helps that I'm not going to make it. Fungicide for the wind, too. We're done. It covers my camera up. I know I'm not going to make it. But, um, my nephew's here because my sister's here. Alicia was running grain cart for us today. Ryan's running truck. Uh, Hannah, my sister-in-law, is cutting corn stalks. And uh, Dan... Dad is running cart, and we only got two and a half acres, and at least this, the first field that I got to do will be done. It's just, uh, they had issues with the elevator this morning. <laughs> is Grandpa not moving fast enough, or what? He 
set the head down. No, we uh, we put fungicide on the majority of our corn acres, and from what I'm seeing, it's it's about a 25 to 45 bushel difference. What's up? How are you talking? I'm talking to the camera. Uh, uh, can I put this? No. I'm the unfun uncle. You want the fun uncle? That's Ryan. But no, um, I'm not feeling, I haven't been feeling the best. Basically, it's been a perpetual something going through everybody in my house for the last month and a half. I got stitches that I got to get taken out here in a couple days. Um, between getting beat up by cows and uh, just flat out being sick. So, it's the joys of kids being in school. I've been told by numerous people it's, it's a two week cycle where you're sick for two weeks and then you're good for a week and then you're sick for two weeks. You're waving don't, at everybody? Don't get a yeah. This corn is coming out really nice. It's 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 cleaning very well. I mean, I've had anywhere from 15 to uh, 21 percent. I don't want wet corn. After last year, no. Pretty sure the elevator just sees that coming and just starts grinning, wringing their hands out. Uh, fungicide, side dress with the cultivator, a lot of that fun stuff. And dry. I'm actually wondering if we're going to get this done tonight because the 600 bushel cart's full. The 500 bushel cart has 200 bushels on it. And the stuff is dry enough where you got to be careful it doesn't, um, it flows like water at times. Uh, when you're getting down to the 15, 16% stuff, it, you really, it won't mound. And you go through a waterway or anything and it'll, it'll level out really quick. So I'm going to at least focus on getting done for tonight. We're still got the sun with us. I figured I'd catch up with you guys a little bit because I kind of went, went quiet there for a little bit. I think that's Aunt Alicia's first time running the green card. I'd say she did pretty good. Bye to Grandpa and Alicia. Wave goodbye. Bye bye.